What's your worst fear? Straight white women. My beautiful Sapphics, today I want to put you guys into a new TV series on Amazon Prime called Wilderness. And while I usually wouldn't be drawn to a show centered on the classic Boy Marries Girl scenario, this one had me a hello. The series is a brilliantly executed psychological thriller that delves into the highly sensitive topic of infidelity and its aftermath. I say leave him. You're hot, funny as fuck, and then there's the accent. I love him. <laughs> I'm disappointed. For society, yeah. For myself, hell yes. I don't act like you know what this is. Besides the stellar cast and the top-notch acting, what really spiced things up was the unexpected best friend and neighbor. A certified lesbian with a major league crush on her soon-to-discover, not-so-straight best friend. He's nowhere near good enough for you. These amazing mini-series are easy to binge with only six episodes. And it follows the twisted love story where a happily ever after life quickly turns into a living nightmare. Would you? We talk and trust fun blondie? Please. She's hot, no? Hot as a diamond does it. Beautiful. Not so much. Okay, firstly, comparing yourself to another woman painfully 90s. Second, take a compliment when it's given. <laughs> As we see more of our relationship with Hash, who is clearly head over heels for leave, we empathize with her effort to show her that she deserves better. I don't want you to be sad. You deserve. Well, you deserve everything. But mostly shit ton of happiness. You don't know what I deserve. Especially when it is compounded with the pain of the classic being in love with your best friend. You blanking my texts? I'm not sure you can ghost someone you see like every day. But I commend you for trying. You know, I could take the whole, it was a massive error and we should have never gone there line. Hell, I've given it myself enough times. Leave me alone. After their first kiss, Liv ends up ghosting Hash for a while, which Ash is quickly to forgive. I was awful earlier. Look, if you told me your mom was in town, I'd have ducked and covered. Can I ask you something? Why are you so good to me? Well, I'm a great A-masochist, for one. Mostly, I've been where you've been. Not a place I'd wish on my worst enemy, let alone someone I actually like. I often tell myself that I will not watch anything unless it is queer. Occasionally, I stumble upon shows that may only have a small queer element, but the exceptional writing, the narrative, make them so compelling that sharing becomes a must. It is intelligent, well acted, but unfortunately, it is straight as fuck. Turning into my mom. Oh, I know that's an option. <laughs> I need to change my answer. The fact that you're so shit scared of it means that you're halfway to avoiding it. <sighs> Sorry, you didn't ask for this. <laughs> okay, don't start being all British and apologizing three times in the same sentence. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for indulging me. I, I should, um, Keep it on one condition, no pity party. I love this scene as it seems like the first time a smile has reached Liv's eyes since the moment she found out Will was cheating. 
I will not give away the whole shebang and the overall plot because I want you to dive in into the show with as much mystery as possible. I believe that Hash could have played a more important role in the main plot, as she seemed only to appear when Liv needed to feel more human and normal. And do you want to talk about it? Like any of it? Well, at the very least, we celebrate. And while I really like what little we saw of her, the only conclusion I come from her character is that many of Liv's problems could have been solved if she had broken up with Will at the very beginning of the show and dated Hash instead. You will have to watch the show to see how all of this connects to the main plot and even what the main plot really is. I can't say much for obvious reasons, but I can tell you this. It was a brief but beautifully intriguing peek into how one woman reacts when she is pushed way past her limits. Let's be honest, the old leave can't come to the phone right now. Great cast, great story, great location. I got hooked from the first minute and I really hope there will be a season two. Whoa, 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 careful there, honey. Someone went over not long back. What she was doing out on her own, I'll never understand. This silly girl. All episodes are now available on Amazon Prime. This would have to be her fault, wouldn't it? No, too much makeup, too flirty. Too available. You know, walking home without a man to protect her. Of course she was asking for trouble. Haven't we always been? But does it ever occur to you where any of this ends? I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. Where does that leave us? We've become the thing to be scared of. We've become the fucking wolves.